Good evening and welcome to Format. I'm Sven Harvey. And I'm David Zabili. And this evening we're going to be looking at PlayStation Plus. Now, uh, as you probably know, anybody who's got a PlayStation 4 now has to have PlayStation Plus to play online. However, I've actually been in a, a subscriber to PlayStation Plus for several years, just on PlayStation 3 and my PS Vita. Mm. Now, you've recently got uh, PlayStation Plus on for your PS3, haven't you? Oh, yeah, because you're always backing about all the games you've got for free. Yes. And whilst you know, Xbox does give you free games, not as many, and not across all the platforms, and yeah. being able to save them suddenly seemed like a good idea to build up a bank of games, because I know yeah. I'm going to get a Vita fairly soon. Yes, yeah. so, yeah. quite. I mean, this is the thing, is um, what I've found is there are several features to PlayStation Plus mm. that have been there since PlayStation 3, it was first launched on PlayStation 3, which is before the Vita even came out. Now, um, one of them was automatic updates to the PlayStation 3, so um, the system software and any game updates were automatically downloaded overnight whenever you set the time period on mm. it, um, and, and then installed and they were ready to go the next time you switch the machine on. That's now kind of a standard thing a standard feature on PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 3 now. Mm. So they automatically do that anyway. But one of the really good things about it was you have online storage in the cloud, yeah. as it were. Um, it's not cloud. I know. No, no, it, it's a server sitting under a mountain mm. sucking all the pictures of your family and friends and what you ate for dinner. It's not a cloud. <laughs> Please don't call it a cloud. But basically, you've got the option to upload all your game saves onto this remote... Server. Save, uh, remote yeah, service, yeah, remote server. saves Not for you, and yes. you get one gig of storage for mm. each of your machines. Which so is if good. you do have a PlayStation Vita and a PS3, that's two gig you've got to play with. Yeah. And if you get a PS4, that's a third, another that's a third gig mm. to, to upload mm. stuff to, which is nice. Now, what you also get with PlayStation Plus is discounts on products on the PlayStation Store. Mm -hmm. So for instance, you often find that when things go into the sale on PlayStation Store, you get an extra 10% off if you're a PlayStation Plus member. Mm. So the £40 a year soon pays for itself, and that's before you even start on the free game, or the free games that are included in the, in the subscription. Yeah. Now, I found myself downloading something in the region of about 200 Pounds or more worth of games every year with this subscription across both the Vita and the, uh, the PS3. And yeah. you've obviously used Oh, I've, I've already had my money's worth. I was quite yeah. chuffed, so yeah. Yeah, it, it is quite amazing how much stuff you get out of it. Mm. Um, and it's not just like little independent games. Either. No, no, they are big they're, titles. They're big titles. So big, in fact, your hard drive creaks <laughs> under the weight of it all, which is, it, it is quite fun. Now, one of the really cool things that I showed you as well is if you go onto the PlayStation Store on the web, yeah, you can actually claim your games there without, without having to go into your machine. Yeah, which is so fantastic. if you haven't got that particular machine, you can still claim the game. So if you're a PlayStation Plus member yeah. and you've got a PS3, you can still claim the Vita games for when you get a Vita. And if you're still a PS3 user and you want to start getting the uh, PS4 games in yeah. advance, you can always start building I've got your about, library. I've got about 13 games for the PlayStation 4 and no PlayStation 4. Yeah. Epic. <laughs> so when I do get one, my hard drive will be full. <laughs> <laughs> Sniffy. So how have you found it so far? Oh, fabulous. I mean, I had my money's worth in my first month. Yeah. Uh, between the PS3 and the Vita. Mm. So everything I get for the next... Um, oh, I've got that. Ten months left. Um, yeah. No, I haven't. I've got nine months left. Whatever I get for the next nine months is all good. Yeah, I mean, this is the thing. Is I've already had, what, four or five Lego games, I think. Yeah. Uh, I've got Mortal Kombat on both the Vita and the PS3 from it. I've got Arkham Asylum and Arkham yeah. City. Yeah. It's just like, yeah, this is really, there is, there is really, well, then, really good stuff. One of the things that I really liked about it is the fact that, due to the fact that I'm on somewhat of a limited income, mm -hmm. I hear about the differences between the PS3 version and the Xbox versions, and there's no way that I'm going to buy both games. No, I, I mean, yeah, maybe way down the line I'll get it when it hits budget, but due to 
the game giveaway having some games I already own on different formats it means I get to you know check them all out and also it's very it, it sounds kind of strange to people who are very set with, with one machine but it's very different playing the same game mm. but on the different machines even if the, the crossovers are really good just the way your machine processes it and the, the way you use the controller now it's, graphical it's, the graphical yeah. qualities too I won't say graphical differences because it's not even no it's as just as the as feel it's, it's the feel and the qualities mm. of it for instance the, the, the shaders in Playstation 3 are very different yeah very well, different very different yeah. in way that the architecture is different well, so yeah it's completely, completely different so this month for instance um, if you've got a PlayStation 4, you get Injustice, the Ultimate Edition. Yeah. Uh, we've also got uh, Secret Ponchos, which, to be honest with you, I haven't played yet, mainly mm -hmm. because I don't have a PlayStation 4. <laughs> Funny that, eh? Yeah. On the PS3, there's Hitman Trilogy. So yes. there's three, three games, games in high def. Um, and there's the Deadly Premonition Director's Cut, so that's got some of the extras in. Yeah. Titan Tax, which I've already got, but um, that's that's basically Space and Verge, let's be yeah. brutally honest. But that's unlocking it on not just the Vita, which is aimed at, but it's the Vita, the PS3, and the PS4 yeah. version. So when you've got a freebie giveaway, a freebie giveaway on this cross by, yeah, you, you get it on all the machines. Yeah. So some months you actually get like four games on your PS3. It's, it's mm. ridiculous, it's absolutely crazy. So it does make you think. And also Final Horizon, which uh, I haven't had a chance to play with yet. So that, that that's that's fun. But you know, even if you're eleven ninety nine for three months or you're yeah. 40 quid for 12 months it, it, it really is a bit of a no-brainer if you've got a PlayStation 3 or a Vita it's just worth it for the games and if you've got a PlayStation 4 you're probably going to get it anyway well, if you've got a PS4 they kind of cheat you with the PS4 because you don't have a choice you have to get it yeah. to, to, I mean those, one, one of the nice things I thought about the way that Sony did it was you, you had a choice hmm. Xbox you've never had a choice you, you had to buy it yeah. and it was just sort of one of those you know at least they give us a game, a couple yeah. of games, you know. Yeah. But yeah, that's only been recently, though, hasn't it? The games for God. Probably is. Yeah. So compare with this, because this is, I mean, I've got God knows how many games I've done. You've been building your library for quite a time. Oh, yeah, I, know. I, I need a bigger hard drive. To, to tell you the truth, I mean, don't get me wrong, it, I, I think it was good that they do it. Mm. And the interface on the PS3, because obviously you haven't got the beta, is, is very good, and I do enjoy it. But I do it via. The laptop every time because this way I get to unlock it on all the machines that I in the future may own yeah and also it's just a lot quicker and easier when I sit down I don't really want to go yes purchase yes download blah 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 where here I just go yeah. select the lot and then when I've got time I download whichever one it is I want to play so yeah absolutely I mean and at the end of the day this also helps so to a certain degree because if you've got 13 games for the PlayStation 4 and mm. you're going to go and buy a next-gen console and you've already got 13 games to download you ain't going to be going for an Xbox One very quickly are you? Mm. <laughs> Unless you want Halo. <laughs> I'm saying nothing. nothing. It, okay, yeah, I think anybody that watches any of our shows always yeah. know that I wave the flag for the Xbox. I mm. an, uh, it's not that I'm particularly brand loyal although I do when I find a brand that I really like, I do tend to wave its flag at It's just I prefer gaming on the Xbox. I've always considered my PS3 as a multimedia server mm -hmm. because that's what I use it as. You know, it, it's wonderful when I know you very much to go. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, and you I'd, very much prefer the controller on the Xbox. Yeah, you, though well. I did kind of buy a hacked version of the um, PS3 controller, which is basically it's in an Xbox shell. Because I was told, no, 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 this makes it better. It doesn't make it. <laughs> <laughs> it just means you're no, you the did, Xbox you did shot. like the feel of the Dual Shot Four, didn't you? I did like the Dual Shot Four. But the thing is, I I like them for what they are. You know, mm. they they're good. It's just I prefer to think of my machine as a media server yeah. because that's what it is. But it is nice getting the chance to try the different games, and of course, you've got the. Um, I my brain's gone dead. I can't remember the the. They're not Mercury controllers in the. PlayStation 3 control. What, what is it? Oh, you mean the, 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 the six axis? The six axis. What's yeah. that done on? I think that those are actually Mercury. They are Mercury yeah, controls. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, they're basically because the, they're, they're both measure the acceleration and. Yeah, because he's an accelerometer as well yeah. as a tilt. So yeah, okay. it doesn't really matter. That, that is particularly nice on the handful of games that is designed to run with that. So it's yeah. Absolutely. Now, the reason it isn't all 
sweetness and rainbows, unfortunately. Uh, the one thing that you have to bear in mind is if you do get a PlayStation Plus subscription, be prepared for never, ever, ever giving it up. Because the moment you've downloaded some games you want to play and continue playing, you need to keep the subscription because if your subscription lapses, you then don't have access to those games, the free games anymore. Yeah, because so they're part of your digital library as long yeah. as you're a member, member of that of digital Plus. library. So yeah, so that that's that's worth bearing in mind very much. So, but for to, to be honest, for forty quid a year, yeah, it's so it's the cost really. of going and buying one new game off a shelf. Yeah, man, you've got a library of yeah, however many you've built yeah. your library yeah. of, yeah. and with with new titles each month. This month is Injustice, as just mentioned, but if you just look at it from a PlayStation 3 owner's point of view, there's two games there, which when you when new would have cost you 40 quid each. Yeah, and they're not that old a yeah. title. Um, actually, I think for him that would have been well, 30, okay. but you know, there's 40 quids worth straight off without mm. uh, battling either. Even as a download, if you bought those both as downloads right now, it's 39 98 for the pair. Well, that was so, essentially on my first month, I got my money's worth. So exactly. That's so, for 40 quid, and you can't really sniff at it. No. Um, what it is worth bearing in mind, though, is that if you do get a PlayStation Plus subscription and it runs out, you then don't get access to the games any longer. No, it is very much a, if you're a member yeah. of the library. So you do want to keep the subscription up. Now, it does automatically, when you buy a PlayStation Plus subscription, it does automatically put you on an auto-renew, which I always stop. And I tend to... You do it on the points, don't you? Yeah, I, I, I usually go and buy PlayStation Store credit from a shop uh, rather than have my credit card details online mm. uh, because it doesn't matter who the company is, uh, everybody's liable to get hacked. And it doesn't matter if you're Microsoft, you're Nintendo, you're Sony... But they've already had some issues. Yeah, everybody. I mean, it's not that their data, you know, their yeah. data is very secure and yeah. said... It would take a very long time to hack into yeah. it, but, but it's, yeah. all the, any any holding credit card details online is is dangerous at the end of the day. So don't do it if you <laughs> unless you really really have to. But um, you know, I find it's a lot easier to go and say trade in a couple of games and get my PlayStation Store credit. Yeah, especially if they're games that have just been given away free on PlayStation Plus. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you know. I do it that way, and then I buy PlayStation Plus as I need it. I mean, I've just had um, I just a, renewed it for three months to keep me going until March. And yeah, then I'll get another twelve months then. Uh, but make sure as well if you can go for the twelve months at a time. Do so. Yeah, it's far cheaper. It's cheaper because it's twelve pounds every three months or forty pounds for an entire yeah. year. So absolutely. Um, yeah, Christmas coming up is a bugger, eh? Yeah, <laughs> yes it is. Yeah, never have subscription time, man. No, no, December. Mine, mine was going. Mine was going to give up the ghost on the twentieth of December. I was like, no, <laughs> can't allow this. I want to play Mortal Kombat even more. Um, so yeah, definitely worth getting if you've got a PlayStation Three. Definitely worth getting if you've got a PlayStation Vita yeah. because for forty quid a year, you're getting so much content, it's almost silly. And if you've got a PlayStation Four, you're going to want it anyway because you're going to want you to play online. Choice. I'm yeah. guessing. So, yeah, it's certainly worth thinking about, for sure. Anyway. So, good value for money, good I value think. For money. There Absolutely. You. So, um, don't forget you can follow us on Facebook and Twitter. You can also check us out on the Geekology website. Link will be here. <laughs> now I can do that. It's good. And also, come over and check out the normal Geekology show where we cover science fiction and other collectibles and yes. stuff like that, where we also go on about a couple of... Uh, live events we'll be going to, so yeah, just come and see us over there. Anyway, thank you for watching and good night. Good night.